Looky, looky, what do we got here? Let's see. God dang it, China. Can't you use some cardboard? It's gonna make a mess in my garage. These are the new lights, tail lights, that I ordered for our LX570. They are the newer style lights. Mm. Right, Aiden, you wanna unpack these? Yes. Here, take them all out first. Good job, Aiden. Yeah. Was that hard? Yeah. First thing we need to do is get these old taillights off. As you can see, there are two pieces on each side. There's the outside and the tailgate piece, and the same on this side. Look at the new pieces to see where all the mount points are. We've got these two holes, which are these two here, that one and that one. Little covers on there that probably pop off to reveal a mounting bolt. And we've got two push pins right here and right here that push into clips and there's these two as well uh, with the shape of those I'm assuming those are push pins as well and that's oh and, and these guys looks like that's it there's really not much not much holding these guys on on the section that goes on the tailgate we've got Looks like, um, let's see which ones are threaded. We've got one, two, three threaded posts that have uh, nuts on the back side we've got to get to, and then one push pin. So I pop one of these off. If you can see the bottom side's flat, and there's a little indentation in there for you to be able to put a small flat head or a pick under there. See that flat part at the bottom? So we've got both of those off. You've got a Phillips slash 10 millimeter head hex bolt. Let's pull those two off. And let's see, what direction do I want to pull this? So if we look at the back of the new one, these two are off. Now we've got these two push pins and then these two. So if I pull outwards, yeah, if I pull outwards, these will pull out and these will pull, I guess, away from whatever those clips are. And then the same with these two. So we'll pull towards the back of the vehicle. So it's a little difficult to get anything but the top to come out. So get yourself a little plastic pry tool. This is for changing bicycle tires. And you can go along here and gently push it out without damaging your paint. Oh, there we go. All right, it's out. Let's get the wire disconnected. We got one connector going to the vehicle, that top one. When you were a kid, did your dad ever leave the plastic wrap on everything? Like remote controls, screens for microwave, whatever. My dad always did that. So I always love removing these plastic things from new shiny objects. All right, there's that one. Let's compare it to, so there's the difference between the two. Um, you can see at the top edge and around the side, there's no chrome trim on the newer style. The bottom used to be a smaller chrome trim. Now it's a bigger chrome trim. And then the uh, turn signal used to be just this spot here. And we've got this big section and then the rest Actually, you know what? It's still just this section. It's the uh, turn signal. This is just reflector. Um, I guess it's just a different look. So there's not a whole lot of difference there. And then you've got the lines going horizontally versus at an angle. I found one thing that's very different. Uh, just different enough to where it does not fit up. So let's compare here, right? Uh, the distance between this and this, similar as far as side to side and up and down to these two. Here, uh, the location of this pin and this one, identical, right? The location of these bolt holes and these bolt holes, seemingly identical. 
the location of, see if you can spot the difference. You see where that pen is in comparison to this tab? See where that pen is in comparison to this tab? So this is further inboard. This is further outboard. The real obvious one is these two here. The old style, it's all the way outboard towards the edge. The new style, this pin is way further inwards, about maybe an inch and a half, inch and three quarter further inwards. So these two are not going to line up at all. This one, it kind of clears where the old pin is, so it's not really a concern. This one, because they're so close in position, um, it actually ends up running into the pin and not fitting up. So let's see what we can do. And this is what we're working with here. So again, this guy, which is the one towards the outside of the car, is our problem, which is this one here. And it is sitting further outwards. See, this one's further in. This one's further out, so it's sitting further outwards than the factory setup. So if it was sitting further inwards, we'd have trouble with this tab as well, the guide pin. Um, but it's actually sitting further outwards. Let's see, what can we do here? I don't want to mess up the tab on the car. So what I'm going to do is clip off that piece on the new tail lights. I'm gonna clip this little piece off and see if I can find a tool that can do that uh, clean enough to where we can still install this. Between these two, I think I should be able to get in there enough to snip that piece off flush enough to where we can still get this installed. That's about as flush I can get it. That's what came off. So we're gonna try this one more time. See if we can get it. That's in, nice and clipped in. Let's get the uh, two bolts and the caps back. Next, let's work on this side on the uh, trunk lid. I'm sorry, yeah, the uh, hatch light. So you need to remove, not completely remove, but undo this piece of trim, this piece of trim. You can leave them hanging. You don't have to take them all the way off. And in order to do that, this one here fits into that hole, so you want to use your plastic pry tool, pry this end down a little bit, it'll probably pop this guy out, and then push this entire piece of trim gently inwards, and it'll pop this next one out, and the same over here. Pull that down a little bit, and that's enough. Uh, we just need to be able to get this piece out. And this trim piece, it's kind of attached to where um, this uh, rod for your power trunk lid goes, so it's, it's gonna be, this is gonna be all held on by clips, I'm gonna use my plastic pry tool. I'm gonna to start at this corner, just because I can see behind it a little bit, and pry around this edge, and then come around the back side, all the way across, and then the other edge. Let me show you what the clips look like so you know what you're pulling against. There's one clip there, one clip there, and we're gonna keep going here. And there's some more of the clips. There's one, there's one, there's another, and it's probably gonna be the same. All right, all of these clips along the bottom trailing edge of the uh, trunk hatch are off. And it looks like we've got one guy right there, um, one right there, and a few others on that side, so I'll pry those. And again, use a plastic pry tool so that you don't scratch up your paint. You don't want to jab a metal screwdriver or something else in there that's going to scratch everything up. So. If you don't have some pry tools, go get some before you start working on your vehicle. So let's get the uh, clips along this side. Now that trim piece is off, it's easy to see the back side so that you guys know where all the clips are. And it'll make your job a lot easier. So reference this so you know where to put your pry tool. Well, that wasn't it. Nothing in there. Uh, I looked at the FSM and it turns out you've got to remove this black metal molding right here in order to do that we've got to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts take this bump stop out and then there's some i think these are probably t25s here 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 um i'll go ahead and remove that just for good measure but i don't think it needs to come off another torx another one here uh and then that 
last one, I'll just loosen it up, see if I can leave it in and just lean this down. And then that should give us access to the nuts that hold the uh, studs on the... So those are off. Let's see if we can gently pry this off. Some kind of a clip. That's what fell off. Make sure you don't lose it. I'm gonna put it here so I can put it back later. All right. I guess we'll remove that. Okay. And there's one more of those little round clips. When it pops off, I'm gonna make sure to save it. And there's a wire going into this thing. This thing is some kind of a sensor array for the trunk lid closing probably a pressure sensor or something. So I'm gonna, let's see, how am I gonna get this to stay up? Painter's tape. Remember the simple rule, K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple, stupid. So we've got one nut here, one nut here, and one. If you notice while taking these off, they are not on very tight because those studs are just going into that plastic housing on the taillight. So when you're putting the new one on, make sure you don't over tighten them. Now I need to lower the uh, tailgate in order to get this guy off, or I guess I could put a ladder up there. So I went ahead and put one screw back in here just to temporarily hold this in place so I don't smash it while I'm trying to lower the tailgate. I'm gonna lower this guy and make sure all those interior trim pieces are. It's out and we've got a connector here. How does this go in there? Oh, okay. So the connector plugs in right there. And just like before, let's compare against the new one. We've got our weather stripping at the bottom. We've got this stud here. Looks like it's in about the same spot. Weather stripping is a little bit different on the newer one. No big deal, still covers everything. Um, oh, I guess this connector used to be in here on the old one. It wasn't in there when I took it off. That one's in there. We've got these studs here, in the same spot. There's a recess there that's not on this one. I'm wondering if that's gonna run into anything. We'll find out. You've got your stud here on the outside, just eyeballing it. Looks like it's in about in the same spot. And then here's a, another one right here. So stud, 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 push pin, push pin. All right, we've got the electric plug plugged in. I did have to take it out of that little cradle. I guess maybe that's how the uh, newer Land Cruisers and LXs are set up, but that end of the wire was an amount, so this actually has to be extended to be able to reach. Now we want to line up the studs and the push pin into these holes and see if everything fits. I've got it temporarily put in there. I haven't put any of the uh, studs and nuts on. I just want to make sure everything aligns and fits up okay i don't know maybe i'm just too picky this thing is just a little off i guess that makes sense because these are for different years well no the old ones are off too maybe that's just variations in manufacturing process the bottoms line up correctly lines up correctly with all the chrome right there okay well let's bolt it up before we move on to the other side, I want to see if this even looks good. If it's terrible, it sucks. If I don't like it, we can pull it right off. Okay, so what do y'all think? Leave something down in the comments below which style you like better. I don't mind the old style, to be honest. The only reason why I wanted to replace it is because the uh, chrome's starting to wrinkle right here. I replaced the front grille as well for the same reason. So there's that look. And there's that one. I guess this does look a little bit cleaner. Hmm. Let's turn them on. See if they're any different. So here's the flashers. Let's see, this one has the two little bumps here, then it's smooth. The flasher is in this portion. And this one, yeah, the flasher's in the same portion, but instead of the two bumps, it's got the whole section protruding out. 
a little bit different. And you've got the white lens here versus the orange lens and red here. Here, that white lens continues all the way. All right, let's look at the taillights. So this is with the headlights on. Actually looks nice. Wow, this is a lot darker. These are typically pretty bright at night. But this is a lot brighter. Wow, that's a, that's a big difference. Leave in the comments below which one you like, the newer ones or the older ones. The newer one with that chrome trim missing there, it kind of makes the rear end look really fat. But that also does look a little bit more dated. I can see why people upgrade. Wow, these are really bright. Lights off, let's get the other side on. Same process, I'm not gonna show every step because it's the same, but two caps off, those screws come out, this whole thing pops outwards, and we've gotta cut that one tab on this one. I'll double check it, see if it's any different on this side. If it's the same as the other side, we'll have to cut that, trim that one tab off. Then here, we gotta take these two tens off, and then these Torx screws here, all those, and pop this guy down. We'll hold it up with electric tape, get the one, two, three studs, uh, nuts off of the studs, pull that tail light out, unplug, plug the new one in, bam. Should be a lot quicker than the other side because we already know what to do. Got that trimmed off. Now let's get things lined up. We're gonna plug it in and then line it up with the push pins. Got this trim piece off, painter's tape there. I went ahead and left the uh, last Torx screw in and everything from here downwards I took off. That should be enough for you to get to uh, all the nuts on these studs, which I've already got off. Now let's pry this guy off. That one is off. Let's get the new one on. Lights on, nuts are on. Let's get the trim back. Now that that's done, let's get this trim piece back on. All the trims back on, let's see what it all looks like. I don't know if I'm a fan of this or not. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. May keep them, may switch back to the old ones. I don't know. And the fitment is okay. You know, I don't really know how the old ones fit exactly, if they were great or not. I guess maybe I'm just a little picky. Well, I hope this video was helpful, at least to let you know how to remove and install the taillights, whether you're going with a different kind or the factory ones. And uh, make sure to like, share, subscribe, check out the other videos, and see you next time.